uh, this is uh, Dr. Charvi Shastri here from Ahmedabad. I am pediatric physiotherapist and director of uh, Sunshine Pediatric Rehabilitation Center. So today I'm going to talk about how different therapies work for the kids on autism spectrum disorder. So firstly, what is autism spectrum disorder? So autism is neurodevelopmental disorder which begins in the early childhood and stays throughout the lifespan. So in autism, it mainly affects how the child interacts and communicates with the world and as well as it also affects the re restrictive interest and repetitive behaviors. Autism is a spectrum disorder because every child on the spectrum is unique with different strength and weaknesses. So the level of severity and impairment is different in every children with autism spectrum disorder. So first of all, I'm going to talk about sensor integration therapy, which is the main therapy for any child who present with autism spectrum disorder. To understand what is sensor integration therapy, we must know what is normal processing of brain. So what is normal processing of brain? So normal processing or normal integration of brain is organization of sensory information which is collected from the body or environment which allows the person to execute appropriate motor and behavioral responses. So autism spectrum uh, uh, children often presents with sensory processing disorder because such kids have affected sensory processing. So in other words, we can say that autism spectrum disorder is information processing disorder because the autism spectrum disorder kids processes the information differently than us. Now, the sensory stimuli are different for every kids. Some children will avoid the stimuli. Some children will have will crave for more sensory stimuli and some children will have low registration of stimuli according to which the sensory integration plan is designed to meet the specific needs of the autism child. The child is further exposed in repetitive and organized sensory stimulation environment. So over the time, the brain will adapt and uh, the child will respond more appropriately. The second one is occupational therapy. So occupational therapy helps with cognitive, physical and social skills. Main goal of occupational therapy is to improve everyday life and increase maximum independency of autistic children so that the autistic child can participate in more and more daily routine activities with maximum independence. So in uh, occupational therapy, uh, the key skills we work on is uh, independent dressing, eating, grooming, feeding, potty training, or gross or fine motor skills, fine motor skills like cutting or uh, coloring or writing, etc. Right? Occupational therapist will also work on emotional development and self-regulation skills. The third therapy I'm going to talk about is oral motor and feeding therapy. So occupational therapists can also work on oral motor and feeding uh, therapy as well because uh, autism spectrum uh, child will always have either hypo or hyper uh, sensitivity in the mouth and they would be selective eater, right? According to, according to the sense, uh, sensitivity, uh, different desensitization techniques are used to increase the tolerance level. So when the child is present with uh, sensory issues, the child will either have uh, gagging or coughing or choking or a low intake of food uh, or refusal to eat or the child is always crying while feeding. So these are some of the uh, signs and symptoms when the child is having 
oral motor or oral sensory issues. What is oral motor uh, techniques? So oral motor techniques will improve the strength, control and coordination of oral muscles, right, right? which involves tongue, lip, vocal folds and jaw stability. So what are oral sensory issues? So oral sensory is all about uh, the taste, temperature and texture of the food. How the mouth tissue perceives this sensory information in the mouth. When the child is hypersensitive, so he will have problem with the either cold or hot temperature of the food. The fourth one is speech therapy and communication. So here I'm going to talk about oral placement therapy. So traditional speech therapy involves only auditory and visual stimulation, while this new approach called as oral placement therapy is a type of speech therapy which involves mainly three components, auditory stimulation, visual stimulation, and third is tactile stimulation to the mouth to improve speech clarity. So OPT is important addition to the speech therapy, right? Traditional speech therapy uses only auditory and visual. So we can use OPT techniques along with traditional speech therapy for better outcomes. So OPT uses textile proprioceptive teaching techniques. So along with auditory and visual, we can use textile and proprioceptive teaching techniques in our speech therapy plan because speech is all about textile proprioceptive act. Okay, so OPT placement. So what does it include? OPT uh, placement includes the dissociation, grading and direction of movement of the jaw, jaw stability, muscle memory, then it works on articulation, then uh, articulation awareness, right? So everything is necessary for speech development. OPT can also be beneficial in different speech disorders like dysarthria, apraxia of uh, speech voice disorder, uh, fluency disorder, etc. Now I'm going to talk about communication that is most important uh, area to work on in autism spectrum disorder, right? So communication, for communication, speech language pathologists can work for communication or an ABA therapist can also work on communication. So in communication, we can work on verbal and non-verbal communication, right? So to develop communication, uh, the main components are uh, understanding the body language, then uh, there, there will be some children which will be, uh, which will like matching the picture with correct uh, expressions or uh, any specific task, right? To communicate uh, with others. Then uh, responding to the questions, then expressing personal uh, needs, finger pointing. So these are some of the areas uh, where uh, the therapist will work to improve the communication. Some people with autism find that using picture as a uh, technology to communicate is more effective, which includes sign language for nonverbal communication, then picture exchange communication system and iPads, okay? Now, the next one is behavior therapy, which is also one very important therapy uh, required for autism spectrum disorder. Now there are so many models for behavioral therapies, among which I find ABA therapy uh, the most beneficial one for the autistic children. So ABA itself is not a therapy. ABA is an approach to change the specific behavior. So out of all behavioral therapy approaches, ABA is a specific approach to understanding and changing the behavior. It is not a specific therapy itself, okay? But a range of different strategies and techniques are used to 
help the autistic children to learn new skills and behavior so it is a process of behavior change using reinforcement strategies to both increase or decrease the targeted behavior okay so how we can reinforce and shape behavior is understanding the abc's of uh, aba right so in abc's there are three things uh, a stands for antecedents that is uh, events occur before the behavior b stands for behavior right that is uh, observable and measurable behavior and c stands for consequences that follows the behavior so i'll explain you this with one example for example child is crying right so the antecedent is a uh, child which is crying now which precedes you to the behavior of you giving a cookie so when a child is crying you give a cookie to the child so giving you a cookie is a positive uh, reinforcement right positive consequences so this way by shaping the antecedent and consequences we can work on the specific behavior modification so here if every time the child is crying and if you give the cookie there are more chances that every time when the child needs a cookie he will cry right so to change this behavior pattern uh, you have to stop giving the cookie to the child so that is a negative consequences so the child will know that uh, when he he is crying he will not get the cookie so over the time the child will use different uh, communication ways to gain the cookie right now uh, next one is the uh, group therapy group therapy is also very uh, important aspect uh, in autism spectrum disorder because autism spectrum kids are uh, are mainly affected in social skills and communication right so group therapy mainly focuses on social and communication child uh, skills in children with autism spectrum disorder right so in group therapy the children are group according to their age linguistic skills and social emotional aspects so what are the benefits of group therapy so in group therapy the child learns how to behave in a specific social situation the child learns about importance of friendship and uh, companionship right the child develops the rules of the game and cooperative play strategies also it increases social participation the child develops helping and sharing skills okay so group therapy can be done uh, once or twice a week and it definitely helps to make your child engage with other kids and increase uh, communication state uh, power the next one is a uh, aquatic therapy this is new one so aquatic therapy is uh, definitely a beneficial one for a uh, autism spectrum disorder kids so aquatic therapy is done in indoor temperature regulated pool it is very important to carry the aquatic therapy in indoor pool right and not in open pool also the temperature regulation is very important the temperature is 32 to 34 degree celsius if the temperature goes down there are possibilities that child will child will fall ill or the child will have seizures if the autistic child is on specific medication for seizures it is not advisable to go for aquatic therapy so aquatic is not a main therapy it is an additional or add on therapy which can be done with the other land based therapy additionally right so it can be done twice or thrice a week with the other therapies okay so in aquatic therapy mainly uh, the therapist uses the physical properties of water like buoyancy hydrostatic pressure okay 
surface tension so all of these are uh, physical properties of water which are used to bring uh, therapeutic uses so aqua therapy provides very enjoyable and fun medium to the kids and in aqua therapy our body weight reduces by 90% so the joint stress is also reduced the child can freely move in the water and enjoy the therapy session okay so next i am going to talk about is physiotherapy which is last one so physiotherapy is only required for the children with autism who have low muscle tone or uh, tightness of muscles right uh, there are kids who have a toe walking who uh, over the time develop tight muscles in lower limb tight calf muscles and over the time they will develop uh, weak core muscles or postural issues so physiotherapy can help the autistic children for the proper postural uh, alignment and work on the strength and balance okay so here i uh, finish my presentation if there are any question please do feel free to ask